If I, a man can only cheat if he loves someone else. If I have a woman who I truly love and I go out and I come back to her and I don't care about her and I only love my girl, that's not cheating. That's exercise. If she even talks to a dude, we don't have to agree with and everything this asshole says. Like, it, no, it, yeah, he's definitely an asshole. But you see, I'll, already calling him an asshole, already calling him. He's trolling, bro. So, you know, I guess the mom doesn't know the word troll. So she's going to use the word, you know, derogatory terms like asshole and dick and all this shit. And it is what it is, bro. That that That's that level of arrogance that Andrew Tate has that he's going to come off as an asshole. Three, two, one. And we're live. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on another episode of Jesus. Jesus Talks. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining me. Today I'm in a good mood. Today I'm actually in a great mood, bro. I worked out. I did what I had to do. Took my girl. <sighs> did her thing, bro. Did, I, I, I did the morning routine. You know what I'm saying? Took my dog out. Everything. The whole the whole shebang. Now I've noticed that you guys love Andrew Tate videos. You guys enjoy Andrew Tate videos. As a matter of fact, I know you guys are subscribing from Andrew Tate videos. Why? Because I'm posting every single day, bro, and the grind is not going to stop. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep reacting. We're going to keep learning. And we're going to see what we can learn today and how we can apply it to our lives. That's the most important thing about watching these videos, man. It's how can you apply it to your actual life. If you cannot relate and apply it to your life, then it's meaningless shit that you really don't need to worry about right now, all right? So I have a great video right now. We've all known. Yesterday was about like taking accountability as a man. Now today... I guess, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little different. I want to, I want to see something interesting. So I saw this video of this guy who brings his mom on his show. And then basically they react to Andrew Tate. So let's see a mother's reaction to Andrew Tate. Let's see if she gets triggered. Let's see if she doesn't get triggered. Let's see her opinions. Let's hear her out. Let's see how she feels. Let's see her logical reasoning behind it. Let's see. She's a wiser, older woman. So, you know, I'm going to show some respect as well. Let's start the video. You're lucky you're getting a six. Bad choice. I'm sorry. Uh, you show up at your dad's funeral. What do you mean body count? How many people they've slept with? Oh, my God. All right. Don't Tell cut. me about this person. So this guy is Andrew Tate. So, you know, let's see. Wait, what did she say about her husband? What did she say? His funeral. What do you mean body count? How many people they've slept with? So she was married. Ow. She was married, bro. So let's see. She, she, she's clearly the wifey type, right? Let's see. Right. Tell okay. me about this person. So this guy is Andrew Tate. Top G, kickboxing world champion, dozens of bitches at one time. He's the man. Okay. He has a lot of hot takes. He grew up in the US, England, now lives in Romania. It's funny how they bring him up, bro. He, they really they really they really try to make him look as bad as possible. Like a bunch of bitches, all this shit. The way I would describe Andrew Tate is he's just trying to um what is it basically educate men and and in their self-growth and he's just telling you how it is bro he's really he's really shoving the red pill down your throat bro because you need to hear it you need to listen to it and you need to apply it to your life um yeah yeah dude is a beast and he's taken over tiktok with like six billion views in like two months that's cool with his strategy um so he has in how a, many months like three months wow so today we're just gonna you know i just want to see your thoughts and what you think about this man? So he's a very well accomplished man. Yeah, top with G. Whatever G means. And what does that mean, top G? He's like, a top G. He's a man. Okay. Um, and top tons G. of bitches. Tons of okay. bitches. Okay. I got it. Top G and tons of bitches. You see, like, if you're gonna explain it like that, bro. See, look, look at her, bro. Look at her face. She's already like, ah, oh, I don't want to watch this. This is gonna piss me off. And, and look, look at look at her son. Look at her son's reaction, bro. Look, look at the way he's bringing it up. Look at that. Look, look at that smirk right there. Like I know this is gonna piss you off, mom. I know it's gonna piss you off. Remember that. So at one time he has multiple girlfriends. He's very open with them about he sleeps with other women. But his big thing is like if he loves you, a man doesn't have to show loyalty by not sleeping with other women. Hey, you know what? He's. I want to say he almost butchered that explanation, but you know what? He didn't give enough context, but the the fact still remains, bro. He's speaking, he's speaking Tate W facts, bro. <laughs> no, don't take me to another video. God damn it, bro. This is what happens, bro. This is what happens in these things. I always fuck it up somehow. I always find a way to mess it up. <laughs> Bad choice. I'm sorry. I'm in, in like two months. That's cool. With his strategy. Um, so he has in how many months? Like three months. Wow. So today we're just gonna, you know, I just want to see your thoughts and 
what you think about this man. So he's a very well accomplished man. Yeah. Top with G. Whatever G means. And what does that mean, Top G? He's like, a Top G. He's a man. Okay. Um, and. To show. It means he's a goat. It means he's a goat, bro. That's what it means. That's what Top G means, bro. It means he's a goat. It means he's done everything that he's had to do and he's talking from experience. He's not talking on some fucking, oh, I wish I had this. Oh, but if I had this or what ifs. He, he knows exactly what he's talking about. He knows the exact points he's trying to make. Top G. The bitches. Tons of okay. bitches. That's, I got it. Remember that. Okay. So at one time, he has multiple girlfriends. He's very open with them about he sleeps with other women. But his big thing is not cheated on men that I should have cheated on because they were jerks, right? But I didn't. Some people. What? Loyalty what? by not sleeping with other women. Hey, you know what? He's honest about it. I think most people, there's two buckets. Some people are born monogamous. I just happen to be a monogamous person. I've. Are people born monogamous? Is that true? Are people born monogamous or do you have to work every day and it's an effort to stay monogamous and be disciplined? That's the way I see it, bro. You, you, you're not, you're not going to not get the urge to want to not fuck other girls, bro. There's no way that this goes away, bro. There's, it's impossible. You have to, as a monogamous person, you have to be self-disciplined. You're not just born this way. Maybe, maybe from a woman's perspective, I'm talking about a guy's perspective, all right? But maybe from a woman's perspective, I, I don't know. But I'd assume it's the same. <laughs> I'd assume it's the same. Not cheated on men that I should have cheated on because they were jerks, right? But I didn't. Some people are not monogamous, but everybody lies and says they're monogamous and then goes. See, she didn't because she didn't want to. From what I understand is she didn't want to cheat on those other guys. Maybe she felt like she wanted to cheat on them, but she had to be loyal to herself. She had to remain true to herself. And that's discipline. Cheat, and at least this guy's honest with himself and everyone around him. That's true. Give him some credit for having integrity. You'll pour champagne and you'll pass it back. W mom, bro. W mom, bro. For real. For real. Respect. Whichever girl you pass it to first, you know, you're pissed. You learn to pour the champagne and let them pick up their own glasses. You Good sleep girl. in bed and you roll over one way and hug that bitch. <laughs> It's on. Yeah. You never hug me. You always hug that. I learned to sleep flat on my back. <laughs> like I could sleep just like boom. Bitch here, bitch here. Bitch here <laughs> back. I don't move. I don't know. I wish uh, I had these problems. Are, no, it's no. See, those, those are those are top G problems, bro. You gotta be a top G, bro. You gotta you gotta have money and you gotta put yourself in those situations, man. Like, do you really want to wake up and just be stressed like that, bro? Nah, bro. But when you wake up next to next to next to one shorty on a fine girl that you know she's gonna wake up, she's gonna please you, she's gonna do what she needs to do, and you don't gotta worry about any other girl, bro. Like, why why are you adding more stress to your life? Only top G's do that. You're not cut out like that. I know you like to think you are, but you're not. No, oh, yeah. So one of my old bosses. Did she just son her own son? She son her own son. She son her son on live, bro. That's crazy. But yo, listen, it's all right, bro. It's, it's bro, <laughs> boy. It's all right, bro. It's all right, bro. You gotta you gotta build yourself up. It's all good. I, that's not my thing, though. I'm not gonna say where it was or, but. Uh, he, there were two bosses and one of them told me about the other one who lived like Tate, like he had multiple women living with him and he was in serious relationships with both of them. And he had to keep track of, oh, this is, I can't believe I'm going to say this in front of you and to you, but he had to keep track of who he came in last. Y'all see what I'm talking, I, I, I didn't let her finish her sentence. But you have to keep track of all these multiple women, bro. You have to schedule them into your day. They are also human beings. If you're going to have a rotation, if you're going to run these cycles the way Andrew Tate does it, bro, you have to be able to track and, and, and give every single one of those girls attention. They're, remember, a woman's greatest asset is attention, bro. When you give her attention, you're, you're pleasing her, bro. You're appeasing her and you're making your life more simpler. So you got to schedule them in if you want to, if you want to live like a top G so that they didn't fight over it because oh. he would get hell over that. That's gross. Yeah. I actually what? think. That's gross? That's gross? Bro, what is wrong with you, bro? Stop it. Stop it. 19? No, 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 no. I'm going to say this. I think 19. That's the truth, bro. I don't know why people are like, oh, that's gross. That's nasty. No, 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 no. Bro, it's the truth. It's just facts. It's just realistic. That's it, literally your mom is telling you it's realistic. 9% of the world's problems. 
And no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walk through life with their body count on their forehead. Oh my That's God. a fact. Really, what do you mean body count? He really said that, bro. And, and he's obviously exaggerating when, he, when he's talking about the body count on the forehead, but I guess his explanation behind the whole thing, from what I understood, is basically the reason why he says women should have a body count on their forehead is because it would be a lot easier to know, hey, is she wife or is she not wifey? Just based off her body count. And it's like, like you're, 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 you, you minimize your sense of risk in maintaining a long-term relationship by knowing her body count. And it's not the only thing that you should assess. It's not the only thing you should be looking at. And that's where it can be flawed, where it's like if you're overanalyzing or over-focusing on her body count, it's silly, bro. Don't do that shit. Understand that knowing her body count will determine her past and how she sees, how she determines you, how she compares you to the guys she's had in the past, right? So if she has a high body count, then she's been with a lot of guys and she's going to keep comparing you to a bunch of guys. And if she's fixed that in herself mentally and emotionally, then she's still a woman worth pursuing, bro. And, and, and that's where guys can get a little ignorant. So that's how you can apply that to your life, bro. All right. Uh, body count is a good metric to determine whether she's wifey or not, but it's not the only metric you should be focusing on. Don't overfocus on it. Don't go crazy on it. And and that and that's why this is over exaggerated. All the world's problem would be fixed if a girl had a body count on her forehead. I mean, it might help for guys who are looking for relationships, who are trying to settle down. You know what I'm saying? How many people they've slept with? Oh, uh, what, what, it, why, why do you need to know the number? Hmm. You see, now she's just not being honest as a mom, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. She's not being honest. And because, well, what his take is, is that women are emotionally, emotionally attached individuals. So if they sleep with a bunch of men, they like lose, I don't, I don't know, they, they lose like their sense of being able to have. You see, this is where some guys, they just don't know how to explain it. They don't grasp the entire um basically logical reasoning behind why why he says these things like it, it's harder for him to explain it to somebody like his mother or somebody else and then they're just like oh he's just he's just an idiot they don't really get it he's an idiot be as close with the guy and like their lawyer i don't know i don't fucking know about your tape four girls flew in i sat them all down at a table they're all like who's this chick who's this chick told them all the truth i just straight sat there just sat there and said listen I've been with you all. I'm starting a webcam business. I'm going to get rich. Some of you are going to come with to the top of the mountain or if you're pissed off, you can fucking fly home. So a woman can't go around fucking people and pretend it's the same as a man. You see, he has standards, bro. He has saying he's just laying down the groundwork, bro. And either the girl accepts the deal or she doesn't accept the deal and she's on her way, bro. You see that? That's the way he treats women. They come in and they leave. There's nothing. I mean, it, there's wrong with that. If a girl does, if you forcefully do it to a girl, if you force that upon her. That's when it becomes morally wrong, bro. That's when that's when you're literally basically like human traffic or like enslaving a person, bro. You don't want to do that. We all know that, all right? But for him to have standards and for him to lay it out and be honest, if a girl accepts it, then that's his lifestyle. I'm not judging him for his lifestyle, bro. But I don't think you can really do that. Unless you have a lot of money and you have status, if you have those two things, bro, you're on the path to doing that. So good for you, brother fucking people absolutely not the same if i <laughs> a man can only cheat if he loves someone else if i have a woman who i truly love and i go out and fuck and i come back to her and i don't care about her and i only love my girl that's not cheating that's exercise if she even talks to a dude <laughs> bro said that's exercise bro bro really said that's exercise <laughs> you see the things that he says bro but yo he, like he's just troy i He's trolling, bro. Is he speaking facts though, bro? Or is he just trolling, bro? Or is he doing both? That's where the message can get confusing, bro. That's where the message can get confusing, bro. It's, it's cheating. Because females are emotionally invested. See, that's where I, I that's like a big it's, stretch. Like it's a, she talks to a dude. Yeah. <coughs> we don't have to agree with and everything this asshole says. Like it, No, it, yeah, he's definitely an asshole, but you see, I already calling him an asshole, I already calling him. He's trolling, bro. So, you know, I guess the mom doesn't know the word troll. So he's going to use the word, you know, derogatory terms like asshole and dick and all this shit. And it is what it is, bro. That that That's that level of arrogance that Andrew Tate has that he's going to come off as an asshole. 
When I first saw him, I reacted the same exact way. So I can't, I can't blame mom a lot. Can't judge her. I, mean, you, I like, I like the guy. No, I yeah, I like too. him, but no, so to an extent. But I don't know. Arrogant. Arrogance. Arrogance. Kanye West. Arrogant. Schneeko. Arrogant. But they're authentic. Cheers to y'all. You know how I totally feel about like the men can cheat and a woman can't thing? Because I know some men who are also emotionally attached. Into it's not that women can't cheat. Uh, that, that, that's the biggest thing that I think a lot of guys get misunderstood. It's that a woman who wants to be in a relation, who wants to have this relationship dynamic where there's a dominant, there's a dominant person and a submissive person. If she wants to be the dominant person, then yeah, she can cheat just like exercise the same way Andrew Tate can, you know, but Andrew Tate is not trying to be in that relationship. I'm not trying to be in that relationship. Are you trying to be in that relationship? No. So oh, it's not that a woman can't do it or a woman can never do it. Is that a woman, if, if she wants to be a submissive woman and then she wants to go out and she and want to be wants to be emotional, then she's like in a sense going against her own nature. She's in conflict with herself. That's why most women like that's why it's it's regarded as like oh it's not okay for a woman to cheat. That that's the logical reasoning behind it. Whether you agree with it or not, that's up to you, bro. That's up to you. I'm I'm just explaining to you the reasoning behind it. And that get hooked onto girls like right away. Yeah. And I know, I mean I know women that aren't. But then I wouldn't want to be with a woman like that, that, that doesn't really like, like, you see, so he knows the dynamic of the relationship he wants. He knows he wants to lead. He loves now, what, now, whether you choose to cheat or not is your choice. Whether you choose to look at it as exercise or not, that's up to you. Whether you choose to look at it differently from a different perspective, from a different lens and you, and you want to see it the way I see it, which is, I got to be more self-disciplined with myself. I've got to focus on other things. And I'd rather just give that attention to my girl than to give it to multiple other girls, bro. It's just too much. It's too much work for me. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. It's, it's too much work, bro. I don't have the money, the finances, or, or the lifestyle to really be able to support that. And I really don't care for it right now, bro. I, re I just really don't. I don't know, could sleep with other people, you know? But then I, when it's I, like, I, if she's talking to other people, that's, that's just like, dude, really? I think... Because if you... It, it, I think it depends on the level in which she is talking to those guys, bro. How often is she talking to them? What is she talking to them about? Is she is she communicating problems that she shouldn't be communicating to them, right? Like, that's the real issue with a woman talking to another guy. I mean, the way I see it is, if, like, you truly love and trust a girl, then shouldn't shouldn't she be able to go out and, like, talk to people and, and be fine? Absolutely. She should be able to talk to people. I mean, there's nothing... You shouldn't force her not to. It's, it's not it's not about forcing her not to do it bro and, and that's where guys get confused bro where it's like she should just not want to do those things naturally within herself she should just see you and just want to talk to you and want to express her emotions to you that's what women really do want though that's what they say they want they say they want a guy they can open up to a guy that's honest to them a guy that that um that brings that emotion out of them right by doing things for them and and doing nice emotional things for them so it's like it's a give and pull, bro. But maybe he means talking like having like late night, I'm in bed and I'm texting, flirting. Maybe that's what he means, not actually just. You see, this mom is smart, bro. She really, I think she, oh, she's, she got that wifey mentality, bro. She's smart, bro. She's not so triggered to stuff. She's, she is a wise woman, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Learn to see those things. All right. I will not have sons who are too busy buying NFTs and say, oh, I made a little bit of money and have skinny little arms and go to crypto conventions and be dorks. I will not have nerds. This one's personal. I refuse to have a nerd <laughs> carry the leg tape. If my son is a nerd, one of us has to die, him or me, and I'll challenge him to mortal combat. No, yeah, I mean, he's not totally wrong. Like, All right, no, 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 bro, bro, bro is definitely wrong. He even broke character. He's like, yo, did I, did I go too far in that, bro? Did I go too far in that? You're not going to challenge your son to Mortal Kombat, bro. Stop playing. Stop playing. You're just going to trade NFTs and be a little dork. Like, you got to be a G on, you know, you got to be, have your other aspects of your life doing well. Like, I, I think the analogy with the NFTs thing is not, is not the fact that NFTs are wrong. It's the fact that there are a lot of guys who just think they're going to get rich just because they own one NFT. Which... I mean, could happen. 99% likely you're, it's not going to happen and you're just being lazy instead of you're, you're substituting a project and, oh, this is a great asset or a great investment that's going to pay off in the future. And instead of doing actual hard work, 
You're just like, no, I'm just going to hold this NFT and I'm going to become rich one day. And you're just hoping to God that it's going to make you into this person that, that that's going to make you rich and successful. That's not the way rich and success works, brother. You have to put down the hard work. You have to wake up and solve problems every day. You have to help others and share others and communicate with others, bro. Don't substitute the fucking hard work, bro. Everybody's got some, some sort of social anxiety that they have to work towards every single day and put work in, bro. Don't be lazy. Yes, but a little kindness could go a long way. Like Mortal Kombat, I know he's exaggerating, no, he, but he laughed after the clip. They I just cut it off. It's I know he's. Drama. I know he's just being dramatic. But what if his son is just a nerd? What are you gonna do? No, no, nothing wrong with my son being a nerd. There is everything wrong with my son being a pussy nerd, bro. A bitch nerd that doesn't want to do things. That's lazy. That's the problem with having a nerd son, bro. But if he's a nerd like Elon Musk, putting in work getting people together, understanding the, the nuances of technology and the way we can implement them to solve problems faster. That is a success. That you raised a successful kid, bro. Text well, the more, mother's number. Well, before. if your son's a nerd, it's kind of your fault as a parent for raising them to be a nerd. You had a couple little phases for your little Alex Keaton. Yeah. I also played Fortnite for like three and a half years all day. I'm fucking done! All right, but if you were streaming, bro, and you were building a community, then that's cool. If you were just doing it just to have just to have fun and do it for yourself and not share with anybody else and not put the energy and not try to improve, then that's different, bro. Then 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 you're just that, that's what I used to do. So I know that. I, I used to do that. And it was fun at that time, but I, if I do it to this day, then it's just it's just boring, bro. It's just to me it's demeaning. It's like I'm not getting nowhere in life by playing this fucking video game. That was a little bit of a geek phase too. Mm -hmm. We also stopped pucks with your face, so you had some balance. Yeah, that's true. I bought this coin and it's going up. You could have bought any fucking coin that went up in the last year. The Matrix was broken. I wrote, made, put a bunch of videos out. I said, the Matrix is broken. There's a hole in the Matrix. Capitalize. But you didn't even capitalize. You didn't listen to me. Put your meager wages in. And it went up a little bit. And you thought, I don't have to work anymore. Yes, you fucking do. <laughs> Someone has to You see, bro, this was the perfect, last year was the perfect era to invest in, bro. That's why I invested, bro. I invested in 2019, bro. Dropped in. Why? When other people are fearful, that's the time to be greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. Right now, everybody was too greedy. Now we're in the shitter, bro. Now we got to tough it out. Now we got to find new ways to make money and new ways to invest, bro. New strategies, new things, new tactics. Or you just do the same thing. Dollar cost average down. If you're an investor, you understand what those words mean. If not, look them up and improve your life. That's how you can apply this investing scenario to your life. Fries, dumbass. That is not the law. And the best thing, we need the wages back in their place. No more of this stonks only go up crap. No more of this crypto shit. Put the wages back where they belong. It's 9 a.m., you better talk the fuck in. Nobody can save you but me. I'm that guy, you need my help. See, bro, that just goes to show you, bro. If, if you watch the boys, bro, if you watch the boys, <laughs> I'm really about to make a boys thing. It's like you understand how capital, how capital, how capitalist societies work. You understand how they, how marketing and cancel culture, how they profitize of all the dumb shit that you be commenting about. Like that's social media, bro. That's social media marketing. That's the way they capitalize. They capitalize off news, off fears, off. All these things, bro. And then the second you're not working, they see they they pump up the stock market. The second everything is better, you're going back into work. Let's bring it back down. Let's make them feel poor. Let's make them feel fearful. Yeah, not me. I got thick skin, bro. I got thick skin and I got a plan. Choices, you either sell <laughs> That's about his point. And then he sells his horse from there. It's not wrong though. No, I was one wrong. of the dummies who didn't take enough profits when I was at my highs. You see, it's like I'm the you see. See, that's the dumbest broke mentality right there that he just said. I'm one of the dummies that didn't take the profits. So then invest more now. Find a new way to make more money and invest more, bro. Clock in at 9 to 5 if you have to, bro. We're going to be out of this. Did you, have you studied the market? Did you actually understand what you were doing? Were you, were you just in it for the short term or are you in it for the long term? If you're in it for the short term, then that's why you end up sounding like this guy right here, bro. This dummy. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't pull out enough profits. I should have I should have timed the market. Shut the fuck up, bro learn a lesson but really isn't wrong everyone can't make money at once you know everyone's not gonna make money at once though yeah 
Well, in the last year, everything went up so crazy. Everyone was going to be making money. There's a ridiculously high number of American high school students who get a diploma without knowing how to read. I'm not worried about who's going to cook the fries. <laughs> I will not administer CPR. I'm Yo, this woman's a W, bro. Woman's a straight W. You're a hot female. <laughs> this is the reality. If you're some fat dude and you just had a heart attack and I don't really know you, 100%. I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend. You better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. Well, how did her attack? Get the fuck up. What's wrong with you? Go off for late. <laughs> All right, bro. You see, you see this, this, this is where he's just really fucking trolling, bro. Yo, your boy's having a heart attack. Get the fuck. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. He dragging him, bro. He's just trying to say he want to be surrounding himself with tough dudes, bro. With tough dudes, bro. People people that are not going to fold easily. People that are not going to sit here a bitch, complain, and quit at the first sign of danger. <laughs> Cigarette, <laughs> cup of coffee, back in the game. Fucking having heart attacks near me, you little pussy. Facts. Facts. Okay, if there's some skeevy person on the street and they haven't showered in weeks and they are keeling over and they Fuck have that. and they have the you know Fuck people that. get that that white build up in the corners of their mouth and when Oof. they talk they get the lines between their lips of of let me gook. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm not giving you CPR. You, yeah. the dog. That's my list of who gets CPR. You give the dog CPR over a human? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Over a lot of the humans. That. This mom's a savage, bro. This mom's a savage. Yeah. Women can cry. Men can cry, too. There's nothing wrong with it. And there absolutely is something wrong with it. And I'll explain to you why. Life as a man is far more difficult than life as a woman. And one of the key components of manhood always has been and always will be. We have the ability to control ourselves and not act emotionally. Females are more emotionally driven, more emotionally impulsive than a good man should be. Saying that I felt like crying, so I cried, this makes me a real man, is as stupid as me saying, well, I felt like smashing his face in, so I smashed his face in. This makes me a real man. No, the hallmark of a real man is controlling himself, controlling his emotions, and acting appropriately, regardless of how... He you see that right there, boys? That's what's called discipline right there. You see, he literally just stated discipline, bro. A lot of women that say, oh, like, I get very emotional, I feel like crying. It's like, those are the women that I understand. I understand where they're coming from, bro. They have a lot of pent up emotion that they maybe they hold down and sometimes they just need to let it out. And that and that's their way of grieving or, you know, their way of um, bettering themselves or, or healing themselves. Essentially, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to sit here and pent up that emotion and take it on on your man, take it on your friends, take it on your family, then clearly you have no sense of self discipline over your own emotions. The same way as us guys, we might be very, very mad. Like he said, we might. Instead of punching somebody's face in when we want something done or when we're very frustrated, we go and we punch a punching bag, bro. We go and we spar. We go and we do something that's going to benefit us and, and that takes hard work and discipline and, and that we can improve. That we can improve every single day, finding some little thing that we can improve on. And throughout human history, this is exactly how men had to live their lives. It's true. A hundred percent. I've tried to incorporate that into my life a lot more. Um, even like going to the gym every day. You know, I don't want to go to the fucking gym. I don't like. You see, already, already the 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 mentality on this kid. I I like that. Listen, I'm I'm gonna start with something nice. I like that he says he's trying to go to the gym. If you're trying to go to the gym, good for you. Great. But you're fucking dumb. If you wake up and you're like, oh, I need to work out. I need to be inside a gym to work out. You are dumb. You are brain dead. Stop thinking that way. You can work out in your living room. You can work out in your actual room. Do some push-ups. Do something for your body. Stretch. Do whatever you can. There's a million things you can do. Calisthenic works, workouts, bro. You don't have to focus on just this muscle group every single... You don't have to do that shit, bro. You can do the pull-ups. Get a bow flex. It's 30 bucks, bro. You can fit it at any door. Do the pull-ups. Do the push-ups. Get a kettlebell. Do those things in home. And if you do it consistently, then you've earned the right to go to the gym. You've earned it. Don't think, oh, I have to go to the gym so that I can live a hell. Yo, shut the fuck up. I enjoy going to the gym, but you know, I, I, you always want to push yourself. Man, I want to get girls. <sighs> You're not going to get the girls just because you push yourself to go to the gym, bro. You're going to get the girls when you live a controlled, self-disciplined, sustained lifestyle, understanding what you want, knowing what you want, 
and improve. <laughs> It's a safe message, bro. It's really just a safe message. I have only one message to say. Yes. Yes. Just wrap yourself in a rubber hazmat suit when you're hanging out with them. <laughs> Another big thing you've taught me is to, you know, not make any decisions when you're when you're emotional. Like especially with big ones, like when we were buying out. See, bro, W mom, bro. This is a real this is a real great mother right here, bro. Like I thought she'd get triggered. I thought she'd get no, but she's very in control, in touch with her emotions. And that's why I th I think she she makes a great mother, a great wife, and honestly, she's raised she's raised a good kid, bro. Because this dude is trying to self improve himself, bro. He's tr he's he has a great mind in him, and he's gonna do big things. I can I can tell, bro, just by the way he's talking, by the way he's even creating this video, creating this scenario, leading in that sense. He's he is meant for self improvement. A lot of you guys are like this. I was like this too, bro. Don't worry, we're all growing. We're all growing together. Our partners. I, I, you know, I had to call you and, you know, I had like some crazy ideas and, you know, you gotta, you gotta give it, sleep on it and think rationally, you know? Yeah. No emotional decisions. No. Logical decisions. No. And if you can't control your emotions in the moment and make a decision, just sit on it and wait. You know, there's no need to rush it. Yeah. No Absolutely. Point. Sorry. There's a great lesson in finance right there. All right. There's a great lesson in finance right there. What's the lesson in finance right there? It's the fact that. If you want to buy something, don't immediately buy it. Wait 72 hours. If you still want to buy it after 72 hours, then maybe it's worth buying only if it provides something valuable in your life that you absolutely need to take care of. It'll make your life a little easier. After 72 hours, don't make an impulsive, emotional decision. Oh, I need this. Then go back and buy it, bro, because then it's actually useful. It could be useful. I don't know. Just moved to Romania. I had my webcam company. I moved here. I had six girls with me. I spent all my money moving all my stuff out of England and get to Romania, setting up a house to uh, and my dad. I had two choices. I said, do I either fly back to the funeral or do I suck it up and focus on my business? And I missed my dad's funeral to run my business. And my dad was my hero. He was my hero in every regard. So right away, what do you what do you think of that? Like, like you so you see, like I I I think I think a lot of people disagree because they'll be like, oh, that's not. Like that, uh, it's not like the emotional right thing to do. You should be there for your father's funeral. But his father knew very well. He knew what his father would have wanted for him. So he's just acting off what he understood as a man, his duties. All right. His father's not there. His father's not going to come back to life just because he goes to a funeral. He knows that his that he carries around his father with him by respecting the way he was raised, the what the things that his father taught him. Bad choice. I'm sorry. Uh, you show up at your dad's funeral. You show up to honor him. There's something. There's a. It's a major life event. That's for what I figured you'd say. Him. Yeah. It's a major life of dude is gone, bro. It's not a major life event, but it is. If you have, if you have nothing, like, if if you're running an entire business in another country, bro, it's like, yeah, it's like, yo, get, send your flowers, bro. Commemorate him in your own way. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be there. But if you're going out of your way to avoid and ignore that and not be there because you're an asshole and you just care and you really just care about yourself, you're not doing it for the benefit of others, then that, that's where you're arrogant. That's where you're just making an impulsive, selfish decision. And I, I feel like whatever would happen if like my family died, I would go regardless of like if I had to do business shit, I feel like that's like way more important. I just question how he was raised. Yeah, his dad was his hero, but his dad didn't teach him family first. Money is important because we- You know, you know his, uh, they didn't, in, in the clip, I'm, I'm gonna be completely fair, they didn't give him the entire thing about how he was raised and, and the reason why he needed he needed to do those things. But anyways, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Jesus Talks. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you want to join us and keep growing, bro, I'm releasing videos every single day, three times a day. Peace out.